right, Drive Radio fans, your host John Rush today. My son Richard is behind the camera. This is the long review of the Kia 2016 Kia Sorento. I've got some things I actually want to talk about with Kia. I've got a cheat sheet here uh, that I went to on the launch in this particular car and some things I learned about Kia that I didn't know before that I want to share with you. The Sorento is the first car they've made in the USA. Uh, this is the first vehicle that's reached over 100,000 sales for Kia in the USA. Uh, in 2014, Kia celebrated the 20th year. They started in the USA with two cars, and they now have over 12 different products that they actually manufacture. They outsell, this is something most people don't know, they outsell many other brands like BMW, Buick, Audi, and a host of others. Uh, as of April last year, April of 2014, they had sold 5 million vehicles Kia had, and 4 million of those are still on the road today. Uh, so in, in 2014, Kia set an all-time sales record. So I say all that to say this. Is Kia a mainstream brand now that you can be uh, you know, co comfortable buying and rely on for your transportation needs? Absolutely. So let's walk around the 2016 Sorento. The particular model that we drove, they come in three different engine sizes, a 2-liter turbo, 2.4-liter four-cylinder, and a 3.3 V6. This particular model actually came with our car that we drove here, this particular exact, exact car that we drove here, came with the 2 liter, 240 horsepower turbo engine, which frankly, at our elevation, works fantastic. I actually did the launch in this car up in Lake Tahoe and got to drive all three cars. And I thought up there that the, uh, the turbo car actually was a little underpowered, uh, or I shouldn't say underpowered, had less power than the V6 did. But in, in that particular instance, I didn't think the, the four cylinder had quite as much power. After driving this car though, for the past week, I will tell you, the four, the the turbo four-cylinder engine worked fantastic. I averaged in the mid-20s on miles per gallon, even in the all-wheel drive version, which, by the way, is an $1,800 option. But as we walk around the back of the Sorento and you get a nice side view, it's a good-looking car. Kia has actually uh, retained some folks that used to work at Audi to do some of their styling. And you can see this has got a lot of, of European flair to it, if you would. And you could just see a minute ago the mirrors are folding in and out. Part of that's because I have the key fob in my pocket. So if you're away from the car with any kind of activity for any length of time at all, it will actually automatic lock. And one thing that we'll show you here in just a minute when we get to the interior portion after we come back from our drive is the ability for the tailgate to actually open automatically without doing anything. It's not like a Ford where you have to kick, kick your foot underneath here and have it raise up, any of that kind of stuff. It'll actually open automatically. We'll talk about that as soon as we come back from the drive. And then we'll go through the interior portion and then I'll give you my opinion at the very end. But this is the 2016 Kia Sorento. As you can see, this is the X SL X SXL model with the 2 liter. They call it the TGDI in this particular model and a fantastic car. Let's go take a drive and we'll show you that part of it. Okay, folks, before we get going on, on the car, one thing I want to show you here before we get to driving is some cool things that, that are in the My Car settings on the Sorento. As you see, we can if, if you've got teen drivers... We can put a curfew limit, a speed alert, a speed alert, and also a geofence alert. So all three alerts we can turn on and set where we actually want those. So again, if you have teen drivers, you can set up this car to know exactly what's going on, where are they at, how fast are they going, and have they broken curfew by driving this car. Say they're going to spend the night at a friend's house and you want to keep tabs on them, you now have the ability to do that. And all that is done right through the menus on the settings. And... Uh, you can go right to the UVO and, and here's how it's all set. So now once they're set up, you can actually go to the My Car Zone and it will tell you where the curfews are at, where the speed limit's at, the geofence, and so on. And of course, this car is also uh, LTE equipped, so it's actually got its own built-in Wi-Fi. So many things to talk about with this car. You really need to go out and drive it. Some things that I didn't mention when we opened up, this car comes with adaptive cruise control, lane departure, blind spot monitoring, uh, we talked about the, what we will talk about here in a minute, the easy open gate that's in the back uh, where you just walk up and the gate opens all by itself. Uh, again, we've averaged, see if I can get to where it talks about this. We have averaged, if I can get there, see if I go back here, hang on. And then let's go up to where I can find our mileage. 22.1 miles to the gallon is what we've been averaging. And I've been driving, you know, city highway, you know, combination of the two. And this again has the 240 horsepower four cylinder vehicle or four cylinder engine. Uh, intermittent wipers, of course, uh, fog lights that are built onto this car. Um, here's your drive modes that are down here. I can change the drive modes. I can lock the diffs. Uh, another thing that this particular car has got is some intuitive all wheel drive, if you would. So it actually knows where to apply the power uh, as things start to slip, if in fact they do start to slip, uh, that's some things that it's actually got the ability to do. And it's got sport, normal, and eco uh, settings. And, and they call it the 
intelligent, dynamic, all-wheel drive settings. So again, very cool things on this particular car. You need to go to your Kia dealer and check them out. Uh, automatic windows all the way around. The mirrors can fold in and out. Uh, we talked about the sunroof up above up here. I think... Uh, Oh, no, I guess we haven't talked about that yet because I didn't do that in the opening. So here's your here's your big, long sunroof. We'll open and close it later as I get into the interior portion. Uh, one thing that we didn't mention, it's hard to do. Maybe Richard can actually see this right now. It's got a 14-way adjustable seat. And if you look here, you can see this actually in the front for your legs goes actually up and down plus lumbar plus back, forth, up, down. Again, 14-way adjustable seat standard on the 2016 Kia Sorento. So as we back up... It'll bring up and actually brings up the screen on the left that shows where you're going, which actually I can pull right up next to the curb if you want to watch. You can kind of see how you can get right up next to the curb, like so. You can see right how close I am. And you can see in this window over here how close I actually am. So right there, I'm just right up against the curb like I'm supposed to be. And you can see all that in the camera. So it really helps if you're a person that has a hard time parallel parking, things like that. That really helps out greatly. It works fantastic. Let's go drive. And what I'm going to do for a second is just be quiet because this is one of the quietest SUVs as far as I'm concerned on the market today. I'm just going to be quiet and let you listen for just a second. There you have it. You just don't hear a lot. It's got, it's got panels underneath that actually help the car you know, be more quiet. They've engineered different things around it to where there's not the turbulence underneath the car. You really notice this car when you're driving 60, 65 miles an hour. It's a joy to drive. It's quiet. It's smooth. It runs well. It handles well. Uh, I'll give you my opinion at the end of the review, so I won't get into too much of that right now. But as you can tell, I think uh, from the way Richard and I have already talked about this car, he did the short review. You can actually watch that. And this, of course, is a long review. But this car, a lot of car for the money. Um, it really it really works fantastic. This particular car with this engine, the little 240 horsepower uh, in, uh, 240 horsepower turbocharged engine, car just works fantastic. So let's come back. I'll tell you some I'll show you some cool features that are on the interior of it. And again, there's no way we can talk about all the different things that are on the 2016 Sorento. You really need to go visit your Kia dealer and check it all out for yourself. All right, folks, one feature that I want to show you real quick that we think is really cool on the new Sorento. And the reason I'm a distance from the car right now is it's locked. I've got the key fob in my, in my pocket. Watch what happens when I actually walk up to the back of the vehicle with the key actually being in my pocket. I touch nothing, key fob's in my pocket, so if it was in your purse or your pocket, automatically opens up, the rest of the car is still locked, gives me the ability to unload whatever's in my hands, the back end's all nice and open, I can now do whatever I want to do, take the key fob, now that, now that my stuff is out of my hands, take the key fob, either close it, go around the front, or if I'm going to go do some more shopping or something along those lines, I can just hit this, walk away, car's all still locked, and off we go. Really, really great feature on the back of the Sorento. Now, if I want to use the fob to open it, I can unlock the car, hold this down, and again, it's going to open the back hatch just like it did a moment ago. So we'll go through the rest of the interior. Richard will move in here closer. It does have a, an optional uh, privacy screen that does come back power port back here. One thing they've done on the Sorento, which is kind of cool for 2016, you notice in here it's hard to see probably with the lighting, but all of the inside of this is, is all carpeted. A lot of the cars, they, they leave the plastic over the wheel wells and such, and over time they get all scratched up and all nasty. What Kia did here is they actually carpeted all of this so that over time all this is still going to look good and nice and so on. And you can see from underneath here, there's actually more storage. Let me see if I can flip this up the other direction. There's actually storage underneath here. Got your jack, little storage compartment there, and then of course, this will actually also, if I can get my fingers in here, will actually also pull up and there's more storage underneath there. If this had the third row seat in it, of course there would be no storage here and you'd have the rear seats back here that actually fold up. And I actually did see that car when I was in Lake Tahoe for the launch and there's still a good amount of room behind that, or from the third seat to the second seat as far as leg room and all that is concerned. So again, very versatile car. You can get it multi, multi configurations inside as far as how many passengers you want to fit into it. One thing about this car I didn't mention in the opening is it's three inches longer, two inches shorter. So when I actually climb in the car, I actually have quite a bit of room and it's really easy. As you notice, I didn't really have to step into the car or step up into it. I just kind of slid right over into the side of it. Nice. This this back seat actually reclines back. Works out well. I've, I'm 5'10". This seat is all the way back. I've got plenty of leg room. There's actually in the middle here 115 um, 
bolt outlet right in the middle. So if you've got some sort of a player, something you want to use that way, two power ports from the side, actually power and a USB, I should say. Your vents are back here, mat pockets here. And you, when you move over to the side here, actually having the sunshade, which actually comes with it. Really nice, uh, you know, even though it's kind of plasticky here, they've done a really nice job here, accented it nice in the middle. And then this is all soft touch right down the side, which makes it really nice. And of course, this has the Infinity sound system in it. Really, really nice car. When we get into the, the uh, front seat, I'll show you this, this privacy screen and how that comes all the way back. I can get up front and actually turn the key on and kind of show you how that part of it works. But let me, let me slide out. What I mean by that, too, is if I'm a lady, nice big opening, I slide my legs around. And, and out I go. It works, it works really that well. So I'll open the front door, I'll climb into the driver's seat, and we'll finish up uh, the front seat of the 2016 Sorento. Okay, one thing that we did talk about in the driving portion, but I want to show, show you again in here is I'm going to actually start the car real quick. I didn't have to start it, but my foot was on the brake, so it did. If I open this sunshade up, you can just see it goes all the way back. So basically, all passengers get an opportunity to see out. I automatically made this actually open up, which is a really nice big opening. I can shut that without shutting the shade if I want. And I can actually now slide the screen all the way back and you can see all the way back. So it really gives some nice lighting inside. Really, really, really nice. Okay, one thing, and I couldn't talk about this in the driving portion because we went into so many other things. One thing that the AV system has, uh, and it is called Clarify. And it's a new system from Infinity. In fact, we saw a demo of this again when I was at the launch. What it does is it takes compressed MP3 files and pulls more quality and, and music. How do I want to say this? It takes more quality because MP3 compresses everything and you lose some sound quality when you, when you listen to an MP3. With this system, it actually extrapolates all of the sound that would normally have been there and actually makes it sound clearer that's where the clarify actually comes from so it's again great sound system they've done some fantastic things with kia most of the the steering wheel and all that i showed you in the driving portion really really a fantastic vehicle uh richard keeps commenting how he just loves the color of the interior you can see nice soft features richard was just talking about up above even though it's kind of a plasticky feel it still gives you a soft touch all of the interior nice soft touches the headliner is really nice it's a higher quality you know, material. They've done a great job on that. Accented the vents with the chrome or the stainless look. Uh, again, really great car for the money. It's t so many features. It's hard for us to get all of this into the review. I, I encourage you, just go out and drive the 2016 Kia Sorento. I'll come back and give you my opinion in just a moment. Okay, folks, my opinion. 2016 Kia Sorento. If you're in the market for this car, go buy it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. This car works fantastic. Kia is a name brand player. A 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Uh, they've been around long enough now that you know, even on the repair side of the fence, most of the shops will tell you that they're, a, they're a, a good, solid brand today. This car for the money, you'll be hard-pressed to buy any other car in this class for forty-five grand and get everything out of it that you're getting in the Kia. Actually, and this, this particular car starts in the high 20s. So if you want to get a fairly stripped-down Sorento, high 20s, and you just start building from there, depending upon what you want as far as engine and and you know v6 four cylinder turbo all those different things but this car is fantastic if you're a you know, young family uh, somebody's looking to have a you know three row suv in the mid-size caliber all-wheel drive i drove this car in the snow it works fantastic one other thing that i mentioned it's hard to tell during the driving portion but i want to reiterate it again one of the quietest suvs i think i've ever driven partially because they've taken some of the european uh, technology where they put under you know under panning if you would so there's pans underneath all the drivetrain to you know keep that road noise from coming up inside the cabin and you do notice it when you drive the 2016 Sorento. Is there anything bad about this car? Crickets. No there really isn't. Go buy this car if you're in the market for it you'll love it. Tell go to your local Kia dealer test drive it tell them John and Richard Rush from Drive Radio sent you. All right folks hope you enjoyed this review today that we've done for you and uh, as my son always says, check out all the rest of the reviews that we have. Please make sure you go out and drive whatever car it is you're looking at yourself. Uh, don't, re don't go off of any review that you watch, either ours or somebody else's or what you read. You need to go out and experience the car for yourself. But remember, we're on air, drive radio, every Saturday, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. That's here in the Denver, Colorado market. You can catch us on the TuneIn app at 560thesource.com. Just look, actually, just look for 560 here in the Denver market. You can also watch us live on YouTube. We stream our broadcasts every Saturday on our YouTube channel, Drive Radio, all one word. You can also find us on our website at Drive. 
radio.com and you can listen to us live right on our radio station's website, which is 560thesource.com. With that, we're out of here. Hope you have a great time, and thanks again for watching.